How's it going everybody? We're testing out the latest update to survive. Um, I haven't played this in a while. I think they added a bunch of graphics options possibly in the game. Uh, I'm trying to keep this... Yeah, it, it doesn't look as sharp as I want, but whatever. I'll just continue uh, back from where I left off. I do love this game very much. So what they did is they added some graphic enhancements um, when you're getting hurt. I think the red is supposed to be less intense. You can actually see what you're doing when you're getting ambushed by a bunch of zombies. And yeah, let's check it out. See what's up. I definitely got to optimize this game a little bit more. Like most of the time it runs pretty smoothly. Do you copy? But well, you've reached the railway depot. The whole area is infested with fucking walkers. God damn it. Some desperate people found shelter in abandoned wagons. Maybe someone had to run away and left this stuff there. So, if you're lucky, you may find something useful. Meanwhile, try and find a fucking exit. That place is huge. There's quite the mess in that area. Be careful. So I'm in uh, chapter three. Haven't really passed this this stage yet, but uh. Whoa, whoa, we got a runner. We got a runner. We got a, we got a bunch of runners. Or a few. Whoa, don't run. No, I don't like when they do that. Just out of nowhere. Jesus Christ, I hate the running. I got to set this game back to, like, baby level difficulty. Because I don't think they run with baby level. Oh, my God. Uh, God, I'm already terrified. <laughs> this game is just too much sometimes. It's not even at night. It's not even at night. All right, so let's see what what the red enhancements look like when they hurt us. I don't want to. I don't want to get bit and eat, eaten. All right, you know what? Fuck this guy. Let's get another one. I don't want a runner to come at me. Let's get a slow dude. All right. Yeah, because that, that being completely blocked with the red stuff drove me nuts. Um, well, it seems like I'm actually stronger. It doesn't seem like I'm dying as quickly or getting hurt as quickly. Then again, I don't think they're actually eating me yet. Oh, okay. All right, so it's red. It's red. It's red, and I can see what's going on. I can see my hands. This is good so far. I can definitely see it. It's totally not completely blocked. The flashlight's working. I can see everything. This is so much better, guys. Candy makers, thank you for making this happen. So I'm hurt, but I'm not blind, <laughs> you know? Now, if I get eaten again, let's see what this... Does it stay just this red? This is so much better. I love this. Alright. Alright, sweetheart. Okay. Did she eat me? Alright, so that got a little bit more red, but I can still... I can still see, which is good. Um... It's, yeah, I'm definitely not totally screwed with, um, you know, just being blind and getting eaten and not knowing what I'm hitting. Yeah, this is good. A lot better. Now, I should say also, with Virtual Desktop, I have my gamma set to 0.75 because I like things a little bit darker, but I want to see what the default gamma is, but I need to not you know, sit here and endanger myself. So let's go back into virtual desktop and we'll set the settings. Uh, no, uh, 0.85 gamma. So now we're back up to a one and let's see how it looks there. Oh, this is, yeah, this is good. This is definitely good. All right. Not bad. See, I can, I can see everything, which I, which is, you know, useful. That's what you want when you're in danger. You don't want to be totally up shit's Creek. No, this is definitely better. Um, it's still red. 
I would love like some zero caliber style like blood splatters, you know, like where you can still see what you're doing. Um, and also it would be amazing if Survive could actually have like a regener re regenerative health, you know, thing. Uh, you know, like contractors and zero caliber. Like you wait like five seconds and you go back to max health. That would be awesome. Or at least maybe wait like 60 seconds or two minutes. This way you don't have to carry a million spray health sprays with you. But yeah, this is pretty good. I like this. All right, so we'll pull up the backpack. I don't remember how to do that. There we go. So yeah, the the red, the red is definitely more usable. You can see what you're doing. The flashlight wasn't even on on this gun. Um, oh, let me put this back over my shoulder here. I forget how to change the ammo out. What do you got to do? I haven't played this in forever. There we go. Hit that button. Uh, I don't know if I could grab another thing like that. Do I have another thing like that? I don't know. Um, all right, hang on. No! Man, the backpack mechanic is still definitely not great, but that's okay. Alright, so I can't use this gun. I'll put it on my chest. Uh, my shotgun went spinning and disappeared. That's happened a lot when I've played Survive before. Yeah, this is cool. The blood, defi definitely uh, better, better visual there. Thank you, Candy Makers, for fixing that. That's a big complaint I had in a video from a few months ago. All right. Why am I waving my arms like Blade and Sorcery running style? <laughs> it doesn't apply and survive. I get so used to Blade and Sorcery. So yeah, this is pretty good. Nice enhancements. It seems like it's running better and looks better too. Since the last time I played it, it just looks cleaner and smoother. I don't know. What do you guys notice with this uh, Survive July 2022 enhancement? What do you guys... uh? notice different about it it definitely seems like it's running really well better than it has since i played it last time wow if i could have some control over this bat that would be that'd be great all right yeah it looks good i don't know i think there's like a fog thing that they did i gotta look at the release notes again but i think they made like a fog enhancement or something very nice. Very nice. Now the one thing that I wish would change is just an option to get rid of the glowing eyes. I think they're infinitely scarier like that. And then when they come closer, you can see the glowing eyes. I would love to just disable that. I don't know how possible that is. Probably never, but can't hurt to ask. But great enhancements, guys. Looks good. The red is, you know, like, uh, I'll get hurt again and see. I'll go red. Let's see what happens. All right, so he's biting me a little. Come on. Come on, friend. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on, tough guy. All right. Okay. So yeah, definitely better. You can actually see your enemy. It's red. Again, the gamma is set to, z to zero now. It looks so much better. I can see the light in the subway cars. I can see everything. This is good. What's up? What's up? What's up, friends? That ain't gonna work. Do I still have that axe? Um, yes, I do. Oh, you stuck? You stuck, pal? Wow, he looks creepy. See? Don't they look better without the without the yellow? Look at that. It's so much better. Look at that. Look at, look at him close. It's so much creepier. Now we got a yellow guy. It's not as scary to me. Why am I stuck? What happened? All right, hang on. I know, I'm, I'm a, a terrible melee person in this particular game. All right, can we open both doors? There we go, all right. Come on, friend. 
Nice. Yeah, I, I I love these character models when they when you can't see their eyes. Like if it glitches out and there's no yellow eyes, it just looks so much better to me. What do you guys think? Nice. Wow, that that had like a better. I don't know. That just felt better. I think they enhanced like them getting, uh, you know, like smashed in the head. Seems like it's better, but I can see everything. I can see like I'm red, but I'm not like hopeless. This is so much better. Good job, candy makers. I still don't understand how to hold two-handed weapons with a quest two. There's a lot of jankiness with the with the two-handed weapons. It's so much easier to just, you know, swing one-handed. Because the weapons, the big weapons, don't even have. Wow, that's cool. They 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 actually died and didn't um you know do the head split thing. Okay, now it gets a little more red. I don't like that, but that's okay. Um, I was gonna say, normally this is so great. They die better because usually they keep attacking you unless you get the thing impaled in their head. So like with the melee weapons, the only way to get them dead is to literally. And it does like the little skull, you know, crushing sound or whatever. But now they actually get worn down. A big, all of these things are quality of life improvements, big time. Again, candy makers, nice job. Hmm. All right, it's cool. All right, I'm impressed so far. That's cool. I like it. All right, so we'll just keep this under 15 minutes, under 12 minutes. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Survive. Get that latest update. Big improvements. You can see, you know, you're able to see with the blood when you're injured. And it just seems like the the zombies just, you know, you can wear them down. Like a few hits to the body and they die. They fall. They crumble. Because before, it seemed like I had to play the game where you were just constantly like the only way to get them was a solid headshot. And then that specific you know, sound, whatever. I can't impersonate it, but it definitely seems like y you can, it seems m more realistic. I don't know. Uh, good improvements. Great job. Candy makers. Uh, thanks so much for watching everybody. I will see you in the next video.